Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, February 24th, and here are the week's top stories. Many asylum seekers in Maine are struggling to access legal representation, with some facing the prospect of defending themselves in immigration court without a lawyer. Anna Welch, a professor at the University of Maine School of Law, says asylum seekers without representation are 65% more likely to face deportation. The Portland-based nonprofit Hope Acts is trying to help by running a clinic two days each week at the Portland Public Library to help asylum seekers file their initial applications. Legal advocates say the fundamental challenge is that the immigration court system is nearly impossible to navigate without a lawyer, but does not provide free legal representation to those who can't afford to pay. Maine households that rely on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program to buy food will see a reduction in benefits starting next month when extra pandemic supports will end. Alex Carter with the group Maine Equal Justice says it will be a devastating blow with households losing an average of $190 per month. Advocates for low-income households say Congress has an opportunity to boost food assistance benefits in the upcoming Farm Bill, a piece of legislation that includes nutrition programs. Advocates also say the cuts are coming at a difficult time when grocery prices across the country have risen due to inflation. Maine Governor Janet Mills and 19 other Democratic governors have launched what they're calling the Reproductive Freedom Alliance. The multi-state coalition aims to protect and expand reproductive freedom. It was led by California Governor Gavin Newsom. Mills says states need to collaborate to strengthen and protect reproductive freedom after the Supreme Court's decision last year that ended the constitutional right to an abortion. Maine law protects the right to abortion, but after the Supreme, Supreme Court decision, 13 states made the procedure illegal, according to the Center for Reproductive Rights. Nearly a year after Russia invaded Ukraine, Maine Senator Angus King emphasized the urgency of providing weapons and training to Ukrainian forces. King, an independent who sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee, made the remarks during an interview with MSNBC TV. King said it was important to train Ukrainian soldiers on high-tech weapons provided by the U.S. before Russia launches another offensive. Last week, President Joe Biden made a surprise visit to Ukraine, where he pledged continued support for the country. This has been Maine Public News Connect. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Maine Public News Connect partners with wonderful groups across Maine committed to providing access to important news and information for all. We'd especially like to recognize the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition, Presente Maine, the Congolese and Angolan communities of Maine, Amjambo Africa, Catholic Charities of Maine, the Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center, Portland Adult Education, the Portland Office of Economic Opportunity, Prosperity Maine, the Maine Health Access Foundation, and the Maine Humanities Council for their support and efforts. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by individual sponsors, businesses, and foundations from across Maine, and especially by Coastal Enterprises, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, IDEX, Koo and Patricia Ewan, Maine Health Access Foundation, Maine State Housing Authority, and the Sam L. Cohen Foundation. Thank you for your significant support. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Koo and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a dear. Junto. Seaport Credit Union together. At Maine Housing, we know an affordable home is key. Our first home loan program offers Mainers low interest rates and down payment assistance on multi-unit properties. Learn more at mainehousing.org. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. If you would like to support this project, please contact Corey Morrissey at 207-232-0241.